some things makes me wonder and makes me wonder in a way I don't even know what to say. You want that high value man, a man who has made it in life and you are not there when he was building his empire, when he was putting his finances in order. You were not there. Now he has made it, he has the empire. Actually, you want to deceive him and because you know the constitution, what it says about marriage act, you want to take advantage of that. Are you tired of masculinity? Now you want to embrace, you know, family life. Where do you come from in the first place? What is your background? Are you raised by a single parent or are you raised by a family man? What do I mean by this? Both parents were there. What is this so fascinating? You want to chase this high value man in order for him to cut, you know, your worries and make them your, your, your happiness. This high value man will need somebody who is submissive and not that a masculine energy. You want to come and show him in his residence, controlling his finance, taking away what he has built for years, because that is what you're good at. I don't think this will go well. I'm not criticizing. I'm trying to build up a conversation. And this conversation is for those people who want to take advantage of a high value man.